So that's kind of interesting that it does look like that. I was actually thinking it looked a bit like the Strike Noir with those pistols, and that's pretty cool. That's actually one of my favorite parts of this kit, that it has two beam pistols. Um, also, you would have seen the quick view, you can attach the uh, beam saber parts to it. So you can have him shooting and diving uh, with the saber instead of taking them off the backpack. Now, let's, uh, let's just stop that here for you. And get into the review. So, overall look, 7 out of 10. Um, I quite like the kit. I I have left the backpack off because I'm actually not a huge fan of the, the Ale Striker pack, I guess you would say. Um, I painted mine a little, you would, you would notice it probably looks a little different to the way it was meant to. It was meant to be uh, red on the wings. I didn't want to use the sticker, so I just painted mine. Um, and in the process, this is what happens if you leave a part sitting in paint, it screws it royally. I've learned my lesson on that. I didn't even see the paint spill, but lesson learned. So, 7 out of 10, because I actually like the look of the Strike overall. The, the Strike Gundam is one of my favorite kits, particularly my, uh, next to the Force Impulse, my favorite Seed Gundam kit. Um, and yeah, uh, the actual core kit looks pretty cool. Like there's been some part changes around the chest, uh, knees, feet, and shoulders, um, and the V fin, the head. Um, so that's uh, that's not too bad. Um, sticker wise, it actually wasn't too bad if I just reach down here and uh, grab them for you. Like I said, with the exception of the actual uh, wings, which had large red stickers, um, you were seeing the unboxing, these things. I painted those on pretty easy with it, just a piece of masking tape down the, the rest of the wing. Uh, there was a lot of um, sensor or um, green stickers, which I just filled in with some um, green paint you can pick up, like, which I thought improved it a little. Uh, still haven't finished tidying it up yet. Uh, the yellow though on the thing, probably better off using the stickers unless you want to mask off. I didn't have time to mask those and just drop the paint in and it, it doesn't look as good as the stickers probably would. Um, the rest though, uh, eyes. I were the only stickers that I put on there. Um, and you know, foil stickers from Bandai, they're not too bad, they're not the worst. Uh, they will peel over time unless you gloss coat them down. So, something to consider. Not too many stickers considering the kit could have been worse. Uh, the rest of it though, I just panel lined with some, uh, some gray panel line there and some brown on the yellow and blue parts. Uh, and then, yeah, that was it. And then you can see I've, I've spilt some paint down the back here, which I just need to wipe off. Not too bad. Uh, overall look, got a 7 out of 10. Pretty, pretty cool. I like this guy. He's going to look pretty intimidating just on a flying base or something like that. Uh, articulation and posing, um, 8 out of 10. So, posing wise, you were seeing the quick looks. I mean, you can get him down on a knee, aiming with the pistols. It's pretty damn cool. Uh, articulation. Um, articulation of the base kit is pretty good. Um, and then you've got to consider all the extras, uh, like these thruster parts, the lower ones will swivel around. I'll just go to those here. They're just on a little um, peg into a hole. So not a whole lot of, you get some side to side. The wings will go up that far and then down that far, you know. It's it's interesting. I like I said, I've never been a fan of this L Striker pack, but uh, these have some movement as well. The beam saber holders, at least one does. I broke this one. Um, so yep, not too bad. The shoulder parts are on a swivel and a ball joint, so you can actually swivel these forward, back, a little up, down. And then this bigger blade has some movement in it as well. So they're quite articulated. The head has a good range of looking up. It's uh, like a two piece um, out of the shoulder between the shoulders here and the head itself has a ball joint in it. So it can look all the way up. It can look all the way down. Uh, no, oh, a little side to side. And then he can go all the way around. Come on, as I said that, yeah. a little stiff, not too bad. So these can turn around as well. Um, so, you know, you could, if he was in a flying pose, you could do something like that, like he was flying down. Arms are on a, um, just a peg socket, so they will go around. 
with these on, um, obviously they go up, the arm will go all the way up, which is pretty cool. Standard um, bend in the elbow, and then the wrists are just on a, a ball joint. They felt a little loose on mine, but not too bad. Uh, the front skirt's just cut in the middle and you can separate, so you have a single. Now they don't move up too far, they're kind of hitting the side skirt. The side skirt will go up a little, but hits the waist at the top. Back doesn't move. Legs uh, are just on a um, two-step poly cap, so inside a piece at the top there. The legs will go as far back as the knee joint will bend. Then that will go all the way back, so he can pretty much kick himself in the back there. Forwards. Good range of motion in the legs, they're pretty good. Uh, the ankle guard is actually an interesting one. Um, it's only a single attached um, side there, you can see. It only attaches on one side instead of like on a GM where it actually usually goes on both sides. Uh, yeah, so good range of motion in the legs, arms pretty good, shoulders, head. It's actually like the articulation and posing of this kit is is really good um, compared to some kits that suffer from issues, particularly when they've been, you know, dredged up from an old kit for the Bill Fighters line, but it just proves that the Owl Strike was actually a really good uh, kit when we got it at the time. Now, accessories, um, seven out of 10 again. I mean, it, it has, these uh, shoulder thrusters, um, or what did we actually call them? The uh, glitter um, glitter revs, that's right. And revs are actually a custom made piece by um, the owner of this uh, Satsuki Toyus uh, from the manga. He makes those parts and he calls them revs. They're custom parts he makes. Um, so they go on the shoulders. Uh, you get the L Striker pack, um, and not a fan, but you know, cool accessory to have. You get one for each gun, you get two beam saber parts, and you get the two pistols, and that's it. Now, there are some leftover parts. Surprisingly, I didn't get a beam rifle, um, though. So if you're a customizer, uh, all that's left of the C Runner is um, two vent thruster parts, and all that's left of the M Runner, which is the yellow, is the cross that goes on the T-piece that goes on the front of the shield, standard uh, strike shield, and a um, semi V-fin. Uh, the blue runner, which was G, you have a spare chest piece because this chest piece was three pieces instead of just one. We have some poly caps. The red, all we have left is the uh, standard um, strike feet. And left of the A, that's where most of the action is, guys. We have uh, part of a shield. Unfortunately, we don't have the red piece to complete the front of that. Uh, we have some standard ankle guards, the standard head. Uh, I would imagine they're the arms, armor. Um, probably arm or leg armor, the tops of the arm, sorry, they're tops of the feet armor. And um, yeah, that's it. So the feet were majorly different, head, feet. Some arm bits. So. What do I think? Um, the accessories, that was a seven. And the fun factor of this kit, fun build, so I give it an eight out of 10. Overall, we're looking at a seven and a half out of 10 for this kit. It, it was pretty fun. Um, I, I see the appeal of having a variant of the strike and um, I don't wanna spoil it for everyone, but if you go along and read Amazing Ready, then Satsuki Toyu, he actually customizes strikes. That's his thing. Um, in the manga, he has uh, you know quite a few variants. We ha I haven't gotten to the part where I see this yet, and I'm up to like chapter 13, so it's coming at some point. And yeah, final score seven and a half out of ten. Do you want to buy this kit? I think so. This is definitely a kit worth buying. Um, check out their website and pick it up. It's pretty reasonably priced for a P Bandai HG. Like I said, it doesn't have a ton of accessories, but it definitely has some posing options, um, some cool painting options if you're a painter. You get a few pieces left over to customize another kit with, or you can actually customize this to look a little more like the standard strike. It's all up to what you wanna do. So thank you guys for joining me. I'll catch you on the next review.
Bye.